<clears throat> All right, so we've we've done our 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 t test here on an independent samples, and we want to look. And this is part two of the video, so make sure you watch part one. Um, we want to look at the results, try to interpret them. Um, some of the things that SPSS produces are a little bit complicated at first glance on what they produce. And again, the first thing that I want you to do is to go through the help uh, topics and tutorials. So for any of these tests, the first thing you want to do is, is read the SPSS help guide to determine kind of uh, as, as a guide to how to interpret this. All right, so we had two groups. We had one class uh, that got a study guide and one that didn't. So we're going to find out there's a significant difference in their test scores. Now there's um, two different lines that are reported here. What I eventually want to look at here is the significance, this two-tailed test. So this is our p-value. It's telling us the likelihood of a type 1 error and how likely it was that we got um, uh, these, these samples from the broader populations merely by chance. So at first glance here, it doesn't look like either one of these is significant. Um, but I want to talk about each of these lines and decide which one we need to pay attention to. <clears throat> so the first one says equal variance assumed, and the second is equal variance not assumed. Uh, a t-test is very sensitive to the variance in each of my samples, and if there's a big discrepancy or difference in the variance of the two samples, uh, the t-test can be, give you a false um, significance. Um, so there's a test for on determining whether or not those samples have equal variance. It's called the Le Le Levine's test for equality of variances. And this first part here is running that test. Uh, it generates uh, an F stat as a result, um, and we're paying attention to the significance of that F stat. Now the its null hypothesis is that there's no difference in variance. So if you have a large significance value, a large p-value, and it's saying that do not reject the null hypothesis. I mean, the variance is equal. If this is small, below 0.1, then um, there was a, a significant result. And we reject the null hypothesis, and the variance is not equal. So in this case, uh, we did not reject the null hypothesis. So we can use this first row, that, the, that we do have equal variance amongst our samples. And so I read across here, uh, I get the T uh, test result. So think again about the t-distribution and where that lands in the t-distribution. And then we're, it's automatically air, adding up the area at each tail and coming up with this value of 0.1. So we're close but not quite there um, for a significance uh, level of 10%. Um, so just shy of saying that we have um, kind of a significant result here. So that's how we interpret the results here. Now often you're going to want to take these results out of SPSS um, and report them as part of a report. And that's fairly easy. Um, so it's easy for me to select each of these components. As you run different tests, this um, output viewer will increase. So let's say I want to decide I want to use that within my um, Word document. So I'll select it with the little yellow line there. Go up to Edit. Say Copy. I can open a Word document and then paste this in here. Um, and then it's it's an actual table in Word, and I can delete um, some of these columns and so forth that I may not need um, for my reporting. So here, since I've assumed equal variance, I'll probably get rid of this whole second line. All right. So that's how to do con to, to conduct and interpret your t-test. Um, so good luck on the lab uh, and running that yourself.